Hey everybody, in this vlog we're going to talk about Macs, Audis versus Windows and Chryslers. I'm into buying top of the line everything because at the end of the day I value the experience that you get from a top of the line product. Now not everybody would agree with that and not everybody would value that experience. We'll give you a few examples. Uh, for example, high def music, 32, well, 24 bit and 32 bit music, and Japanese vinyl pressings. I am a bit of an audiophile, I'm not a crazy guy. What is an audiophile? Somebody who values sound. So I'll spend a few bucks and I got some audiophile speakers and uh, audiophile vinyl and high def 24 bit and 32 bit audio. I hear the difference. Now you're not going to hear the difference unless A, uh, you have good speakers. Number one, you need good speakers, decent amp, and uh, you need to hear it. Some people simply don't hear it. They don't care. They don't value it. They say, why are you spending money on 24-bit audio files that are 60, 70 megs when you can just get the, the 3 meg MP3? Well, for me, I hear the difference, so I'm willing to pay for that difference. Same thing with Mac computers versus Windows. A lot of Windows people look at Mac people and say, why are you spending all that extra money on the Mac computer? Well, it's the experience. I have uh, the latest Mac Book Pro in, uh, with all the complaints that people have hurled at it, including me at one point. It's still the best computer I've owned thus far. I also have the flagship Surface Pro Windows uh, tablet slash convertible, well, whatever. It's a tablet slash computer. And I had really good experiences in the beginning, but with the uh, update number 689 from Microsoft Windows, well, the Windows update number 689, I'm exaggerating, it's, you know, they seem to update it every two weeks. It, it's, it's inconsistent. Sometimes you try to close a window, it just gets stuck. And sometimes you try to move an app, it just gets stuck. It, it just, sometimes it works really well. And sometimes like, ah, it's very frustrating. With Mac, it's always smooth. It's almost always smooth. Yes, you hear people with occasional bugs, but compared to Windows, it's not even close. From my experience, it's always smooth. Let's look at expensive German cars, German automobiles versus your standard run the metal Toyota or Ford or Chrysler or whatnot. Some people, like uh, friends of mine, they'll look at my maintenance costs on my Audi. I got a pretty high-end Audi, and uh, so my maintenance costs are much, much higher than your Toyota CRV or your Honda Accord. But the difference is the ride. The ride in a German sports car is off the charts for me. So I'm willing to pay for that luxury, but I'm paying. And so my friends who drive Toyotas and stuff, they go, wow, you're overpaying. My God, Steph, you're paying so much more than I'm paying to do an oil change or to change your tires or to do uh, fluid changes and the maintenance. So I said, well, yeah, this is true, but I'm driving an, a luxury Audi sports car. And with that luxury, with that amazing ride that you get, you have to pay. And that's the thing. So you have to decide for yourself whether or not that luxury is worth it. 